what a wonderful carousel. What mammoth should I go? Oh, there's an upstairs bit. Ooh, let's go up here and see what's up here. Ah, hmm. I think I'll go on this mammoth over here. Uh, right, let's go. Welcome aboard the Ice Age Carousel. Hold on tight. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Good God, I hope not. Oh my God, stop the ride. Scream if you want to go faster. What's that? You do. Hold on tight. Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Pleistocene Park. As you can see, the front entrance looks a lot better now that we have all these lovely shops and restaurants and cafes. The guests are absolutely loving the ice rink, as you can see. Um, perhaps they are put off by what the mammoth left behind. Um, Yes, lovely. Uh, from the mammoth that escaped in the last video. Um, don't worry, we are taking extreme precautions. Yes, it's certainly not what you need, is it? You're skating along, minding your own business, and then you skate straight into the pile of a hu huge pile of mammoth dung. Um, or even worse, fall into it. Um, so, so we'll have to get some dung beetles on there to clean up that because um, yes we don't want that do we uh, but today I want to focus our attention over here in this blank space uh, I'm thinking of putting in um, a play area or I think what we'll focus on today is, is a carousel um, I'm not sure where to put it yet somewhere over here um, for our guests to enjoy give the children some entertainment so yes, let's get on with this carousel build. Let's go. Now, this is no ordinary carousel. This is a carousel from hell. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. It's not. Don't worry. No, this is going to be a carousel, but with a difference. Rather than riding on the back of a horse, instead you'll be riding on mammoth back. And who doesn't want to ride on the back of a mammoth, let's be honest now. So this is going to be a great place to keep the kids entertained. And not just the kids, adults are welcome to ride the carousel as well. There are no age limits. You can come along no matter how old you are. You're never too old to have some fun. And you can see there, I'm just getting some giant candy canes just to use them as big colourful pillars in the centre there of the, uh, of the carousel. And we're going to put in some lights. You can't get enough lights on a carousel. So we want to make it nice and bright. And uh, it looks very nice when it's lit up at night. It looks even better when it's night time. So we'll just put them in. Lovely stuff. Now, I was planning on making a whole entire play area, but uh, the carousel turned out to be one heck of a build itself. Uh, so I, I plan on expanding this. So we're going to build the carousel today and then next to the carousel, a whole play area for the children to enjoy. Um, some swings, slides, um, merry-go-rounds, things like that. Um, so there's a whole section here to keep the kids entertained while the adults maybe can chill out by the pool, maybe in the hot tub, uh, in the hotel and just relax. And, um, you know, we've got to put plenty of things in to keep everyone entertained. Uh, we've got the ice rink there as well, so we've got plenty for them to do. And this is just this is not just a uh, one story carousel. Uh, I was looking at designs and I saw one that was two stories. I thought I can't resist. I'm going to have to put in a two-story um, carousel. This is the thing, this is the problem. I get carried away and I start making the build that was su supposed to be something small into something gigantic. So now 
we're putting on the two-story one here. We're going to have three mammoths up here for the for people to ride on. And now we'll just put some railings to make sure no one falls off because uh, we don't want that happening, do we? Um, we'll have to have some seat belts, I imagine, on top of those mammoths because uh, they're quite high up. So we're going to have to have some uh, and some ladders as well to get up there so they can actually get on the mammoth. Here are the stairs now. See how we can just squash them into shape? Marvellous. You really can build whatever you want in this game. You've just got to put your mind to it. At first it may not seem like you can, but once you start, once you set your mind on something that you want to build and you start, you realise that you can just you know, you've got the freedom in this game to make anything, and that's what I love about it. You can do whatever you want. Well, within reason, but, you know, you can. Uh, you want a carousel, you can build one. If you want an ice rink, you can build one in. It's great. And we're just putting on the railings there, just to make sure no one falls off the stairs either. Um, we don't want any accidents in this park. And we're approaching a hundred hours of build time on this park now, so it's, you know, we've put a lot of time and effort into this. Our builders have worked their fingers to the bone building this place. So if you'd like to show your appreciation to the builders of Pleistocene Park, please give them a thumbs up, hit the like button down below, and show your appreciation. Thank you very, very much. So I think it will soon be time for us to do a whole tour. Um, I think we'll finish off the, um, the play area and I think we need to just do a few touch-ups around the park and then it should be ready for a tour. Um, but I also want to, I wish there was more animals that we could put in um, from the Pleistocene period. But I think what we'll do is when new animals come out um, from prehistoric kingdom if there's any that come out that's from the ice age periods um, we'll have to bring those in to this park and make uh, a habitat for them so I'll, you know I'm looking forward to that we're still waiting on the velociraptor feels like it's been forever um, and we've also got that Mutaborosaurus as well which is coming out soon as well well I say soon um, hopefully it will be soon uh, here we're just going to put on a little bit of decoration just to make it look a bit more fancy. Um, so we're going to put this all the way round um, the carousel. And a few times, I don't know if it was with this, um, I think it might have been, you know, sometimes I built things in and I forgot I clicked on the whole group of the, the things that are on the carousel. So if you don't click on the carousel um, or the object you're making and you just add something to it and then you want to move the carousel to wherever you need to move it it won't move them all together um, so you've got to make sure you click on it as a group see where it says exit group at the top if that's not on you're not on the group and um, you won't be able to move the whole carousel as one object and a few more lights we can't get enough lights on a carousel lovely put all them round the edges and I'm liking the way that's looking. I'm sure the children will enjoy this. I'm sure they'll be on it many times throughout the day. <laughs> ah, and here it is at night time. Look at the difference when you're looking at it at night. Just going to change the color of the lights. I think they're a bit too white. I want them more golden, goldeny orange color. Um, it looks a bit warmer and a bit more inviting. Look at that, how nice does that look? I love the way the lights look there. Wow, beautiful. And now for the roof. Now this is quite difficult actually. Um, trying to put these tarps in place. Uh, my God, it was it was hard work. Um, you're trying to tilt it the right way and it goes the complete opposite way you want it to go. Um, I just want the classic roof that you see on most carousels, which is red, white, um, Yes, red and white, yes, um, and a triangular roof like this. Um, but it's just hard trying to make them all fit into place. Um, but in the end, we get it. We get it right in the end. That's the problem. It is great. You can build whatever you want, but sometimes when you're trying to build some things, it can be quite 
complex and quite difficult to get what you what you actually want. Uh, you know what you want, you can see it there in your head, but when you're trying to place it down, uh, it's quite difficult. And sometimes you put it in, you think, ah, I've got that in the right position. And then you change your angle and look at it from a different perspective and it's completely off. From where you were looking, it looks like it was right. And then you turn around and you're like, oh, it's not even in the right place at all. Um, but yes, if you persist through, like we've done here, you can get a beautiful carousel for your guests to ride on. Marvellous. So that's looking rather good. I'm quite happy with that. Yes, very nice indeed. And we'll just finish off with a few minor details. Put some lamps on the sleighs there. And we're also going to put some lights on the ceiling. You can't get enough lights on a carousel. So I'm just going to uh, stretch this line of lights here um, and just put it at the top of the roof and then look underneath and try and get it in line. <laughs> there we go, lovely. So we've got that one in and I just want to then um, cross it over the other way and then we'll put another two sets in, I think. Lovely. It does look nice lit up at night though, doesn't it? Lovely. It's almost like Christmas, all the lights, beautiful. And there we go, just put those across the other angles there. Marvellous. And to finish off, we're just going to put some ropes, uh, make them look like they're wrapped around the tusks of the mammoth, as if it's pulling the sleigh. Imagine that, being on, the, being on a sleigh, being tugged along by a mammoth. Wow, that would be amazing. So we'll just wrap those around the tusks there. And there you have it. Our carousel is complete. The children and the adults as well have somewhere to go and have a bit of fun. There's a nice variety of things to keep them entertained now. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And if you've got any more ideas, I know we're getting quite a few good ideas coming through now of uh, different builds we can add to this park. So let us know what you'd like to see in Pleistocene Park next. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to see previous builds of this park, you can watch them in the Pleistocene Park playlist on screen.